through everything, you've probably noticed that I really like the 28 Days Later. That was a great, great zombie movie. Redefined zombie movies for everybody. Uh, the guy that directed it was, uh, was you know, the guy from Train Spotting. Love that movie, you know. So they came out with another movie like five years later called 28 Weeks Later. Now, it is a little bit more of your traditional zombie movie. What it is is all that happened in 20, you know, 28 days later. This is 28 weeks after all that. So they've kind of contained areas. People are actually moving back into London in certain areas. All the buildings have snipers on the top of them. It's like six months later. The rage virus has basically infected a lot of Great Britain, but it's all been contained. And actually, they've been dying off. So as time goes on, people have been moving back into London in certain areas. It does star Jeremy Renner. Uh, this is obviously long before, you know, he was in the Avengers movie or anything like that. I've been a fan of his for a while now. Some uh, some people don't like this sequel, okay? And I can think of some people off the top of my head who wanted to walk out in the middle of it when I was with them. Eric O'Brien. So, uh, but if you just watch this, not thinking about the first movie, it's not a bad zombie movie. It's actually pretty good. It's a little slow. It's very story-driven. The last 30 minutes are nuts. Okay, and uh, and it's just cool seeing Jerry Renner, uh, excuse me, Jeremy Renner running around being, uh, you know, a star long before he started becoming a star. So uh, something to check out. Just don't think of 28 Days Later when you're watching it. Think of it more as a traditional, normal zombie movie with, you know, a little different take on it. So check it out. 28 Weeks Later. I'm sorry, Eric O'Brien, you probably are going to block me on Facebook now. Thank you.